this is the first pot that really has fish and stuff in it. So I'll open that up, and you can see I got a lot of stuff in here. This is sort of my finesse packet. Uh, my finesse um, pocket. I've got Jackal 5.8 inches flick shakes. They're really good baits. They're when you hook them up with their with the Jackal um, shaky heads, made for for um, flick shaking. It's amazing how the action on these baits are just incredible. Um, I got little um, jig heads that I also can use with these. So it works pretty well. These like little heads that I don't really use. I got them in a packet. But this is the first good box that I've got. This is my drop shot box. So, you go in and open that up. There's all the drop shot and stuff that I use. To start off up in here, I've got the Zoom Tiny Brush Hog in Watermelon Red Flake color. It's one of my go to drop shot and baits right now. It's really good. Um, I love it a lot. It catches fish. Like in my last tournament at Roosevelt, I caught one of my keeper fish on this bait, so they're really good, I love them. Um, in this pocket, I've got a whole assortment of different drop shot and worms. Right here, I think these are called bass assassins, um, paddle tail worms, something like that. They're pretty nice worms, they look just like bait fish, so whenever the fall comes by again, I like to drop shot these when the school and the fish are down low, I can get to them. Uh, I've got tons of these robo worms in morning dawn color, which is one of the best colors here in Arizona to use. I've also got them in this color. I don't exactly know the name of this color, but it's a really nice color. I've got plenty of fish on it also. Um, I got some some vinegar baits, uh, finesse, I think, six or something like that. Um, I got those. They're really good, especially when you nose hook them because they got like that, that wiring in it so it stays on the hook pretty good. I've also got my weights in here. And my weights, I've got my hooks, and I've got just some random stuff in there that I use for like drop shot and stuff. So that's my drop shot box, guys. That's what I really, really use a lot um, when it comes to fishing. And uh, fish aren't like fighting anything else. That's about it. So, let me close that up. Now for the big pocket is where all the stuff is. Here. So. Yeah. And bam, there's just a whole lot of stuff in there. Um, I got I got seagulls in here from Gary on my motor scene goes, which I put them in this packet because um, I ran out from the other ones. And I've got the KVD from Strike King, the Ochos, which the watermelon red. They're really good baits. I love these. They've been really, these uh, Sinkos, they've been doing really well for the summer. So, um, I've got my uh, 6 inch Huddleston Deluxe Swim Bait, which I modified myself with the treble hook. Right there, it's the Bass Brigade way. If you guys go watch Bass Brigade's um, way of modifying Hulson, this is exactly the same, the same way that I did it. Um, I haven't caught any bass on it. I've snagged a couple that have been like trying to swipe at it, but that's about it. They haven't really been eating it. Also, with the big swim baits, I've got a Strike King. Um, don't really know the name of it. I think it's a, it's a Strike King bait though. But um, it's a six inch bait as well. It's in baby bass color. It's been scraped up by now. I took off the bill to make it sort of a wake bait so it stays on top of the water and it just wakes and the body is perfect. Um, it makes a lot of wake noise. I use this, you know, during the summer and the, uh, sometimes the winter time as well. But um, these are also some of my go-to baits. Uh, the uh, Reaction Innovation Double Y Beavers. I caught my tournament on, uh, one of my tournament on these baits right here, the watermelon red ones. Um, they're big profile baits. 
I'll open them up, show you guys. These the big baits to make a lot of um, movement in the water. They're beautiful looking baits, the beaver baits, you can see. And um, the action on them, it's not like, you know, crazy action on them, but they're not, they're like a crawdad, you know. You, they got those, but the, they don't flare like that. They just work. And um, so that's how that is. Um, in this big bag, I've got five inch swim baits, four and a half to five inch swim baits, all different varieties of them um, that I probably will use on maybe like Alabama rigs or just like playing alone when the uh, full bite comes back again next year. Um, my club gave gave us these and I put some uh, Havocs in there as well. There's a couple of Venom Baits flukes in there. There's also flukes in here. But, um, that's that. And then in this bag I've got three and a half inch um, swim baits from big hammock swim baits to uh, lake fork swim baits. Um, I've also got some jig heads in there as well, but that's what I use. Um, I've got my jig box here. I've got black and blue jig. Um, I've got different kinds of jigs in here. I've got mostly like pumpkin seed sort of color jigs with um, trailers in there and this is also my um, my watermelon colors with the uh, woolly bug trailers like little two and a half three inch baits as trailers it works pretty well I love the jigs we got Strike King jigs mostly which I always use I love Strike King they make great baits great jigs as well um, so that's my jig box I put my jigs and stuff in um, and this is probably box with the most important stuff in it. I've got hard baits up here. Um, just like this is where I would take it like in that like little box I have. Um, I've got top water, I got cranking, and I've also got a jerk bait in here. Um, I love these uh, this is a new striking bait, the uh, the sexy dog. It's a beautiful bait. It's a walk the dog style bait as well. Um, great action on it, just like a Zara Spook. Also got a black crankbait here during the night. I feel like staying out a little past when I do, and then a uh, jerk bait here. And then I've also got my frogs. This is a Spro frog. Um, and of course, I got my coppers frog in here. Um, two nice frogs. I use mostly just my coppers though. But um, just in case, if I forget to bring my coppers, I got my spro frog. I've got my three out gamagatsu hooks in here. I've got some uh, fluke and swim bait um, hooks there. Of course, I got my three eight ounce tungsten flipping weights in there. Um, very important box. You know, I got my hooks and weights in there that I always throw out. I always need. Um, that's that. Uh, I'm gonna put myself back in here. If you guys have any questions or you know any recommendations on baits that I can get, go in and uh, just uh, go in and tell me, which I'll probably get them because I need some new baits for this upcoming spring. And then up here, I've got some baits in here. I've got black um, Berkeley Power Bait worms in here. The seven inch ones that I use for my night fishing, and I've also just got a big bag. They're not the jackal baits, but they are the um, zoom trick worms and watermelon chartreuse color and white. I love to Texas rig these weightless and work them like as a fluke, uh, especially the white ones, they work really well. And um, with the uh, watermelon chartreuse color tail, sometimes I like to pair a line rig that if I know that there's smaller bass in the area. And they're like down deep. I can Carolina rig those, and those work pretty fine. Um, in this pocket, though, I've got all my uh, my bed fishing stuff. I got three inch clearish sort of sparkly um, grubs in there. Also got another three inch pack of grubs in the shirt juice, all shirt juice color. And I've got some four inch 
white tubes here by um, by striking a lot of striking stuff as you can see. And of course I got my zoom white lizards for throwing out on beds. So those are all my um, my bed fishing baits. I like to sell the bed fishing and down. That's about it guys. That's about all I've got. My tackle. So uh, there it is guys. That's my uh, bass fishing tackle and rods video. I will have another video up um, later on uh, my night fishing that I've been having pretty good luck on lately with some photos and some uh, how I've been really working my buzz baits at night, which I didn't get to show you in this video, but um, anyways, see you around guys, um, have a, have a, have a, ha, oh 